What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. In the last episode, we defeated some of the duelists. In this episode, we're going to be taking on Yugi and Merrick. I remember this game a lot as a child, and it just... It was a lot harder back then than it is now. I'm not saying they don't have challenges in it. Like, further on ahead, we're going to have even bigger of a challenge. Right. Anyway, I don't know if you heard that something went on in Paris, I believe, recently. And I'll just have to see what it is, for example. Like, a tragedy happened in Paris. And I do not know, I don't fully understand it, so I may check and see what it was. If I can even get up to it. But, things have been going on a lot lately in this world. I mean, first the... First the... What is it? Sandy Hook? Like, elementary and then this? I mean, really, guys? I thought the wars were for this type of stuff. Alright, Paris Karen Tax. Paul Lin says ISIS, it's ISIS, I-S-I-S, -S, atrocity was act of war. What is it, ISIS? President says France will defend itself and at least 128 people killed in series of gun and bomb attacks across Paris. Wow. I mean, that is awful. Like, wait, did you just use a, uh, use a Exodia? hand to attack me? That was pathetic. Sorry, but it was. And we think that our lives are hard sometimes. But then when you think of things like that, we have it pretty easy. Right? Oh, we got slight for I'll be sure to add that to the deck. I mean, like, someone will say, oh, I'm in so much pain. Oh, I'm not feeling good today. But then they realize there's people going hungry in the world and wars happening. I mean, like, I complain a lot. I may say, I may say sometimes what is, whoa. But that, that, before I go on, that is the cool, you're right, Mokuma, that is a cool stadium. It is not a cute, Merrick. It is cool. Not cute. But anyway, I mean, a lot of us take things for granted, like I may say to people what is silly to you is not silly to me. But when you think about it, there really are serious stuff going on in the world. Like Sandy Hook, the Paris incident, the ISIS incident. I mean, 9-11, way, way back. I mean, I was a child back then and did not understand the heaviness of it. But... I mean, it's still happened. It's part of our history. And now, like, the Sandy Hook may be part of our history later. I mean, what seems... It may have just gone on, like, out of school, but... And it may have been far away from where I am. But it was... There were children involved. A lot of children involved with the Sandy Hook incident. And that's just a sin. 20 lie, okay? Yeah, there's, like, 25 or so. I don't know for sure. But at least 20, at least 18 kids, like at least tw 18 to 20 kids lost their lives too soon. And plus a few faculty that li lost their life way too soon. I mean, like, I want to see the death count was what? 28. Okay, there was 28 total, 27 at the school. Including the perpetrator, the guy who shot everyone, and perpetrator's mother. So two are him and the him and his mother, and two were non-fatal injured. Right, and I'm trying to see. Okay, there were 20 children and six adults at the school. So 20 children plus six faculty lost their lives there. Thanks to Adam Lanza, or, yeah, 
Yeah, Adam Lanza was his name. Although, in all serious though, as serious as that incident was, it could have been prevented if Adam has if Adam has been given more proper mental health. I don't think he's ever been evaluated properly before that incident. And I mean it's been rumored that he has and, and he had mental health issues. And I'm not trying to belittle what the guy did. No one has the right to do those things no matter how well or non well they are. But some things maybe not prevent it, maybe it never could have been prevented, but there's been at least a 20% chance that could have been prevented if he had been treated properly. When I say treated properly, I meant getting proper treatment, that's the words I meant. But that's my bit rant for the day. I mean, people around the world, I mean, people sometimes just do things. Right? I mean, no reason, or no apparent reason whatsoever, they do things. And just because it may not happen in your area, doesn't mean it's something that you shouldn't pay attention to. Because sometimes something may happen in where you are, and people will be praying for you. Right? The matter of the fact is, is that because of those incidents, many people lose their lives when they could have tributed something great to the world. No matter if they're children or not, they still have the potential to help the world become a better place. And I don't know even how to say it. When Adam killed himself, he... I'm trying to think of how I'm trying to explain it. When he took his life, he eliminated, or he got rid of the chance of the pair, the families of those death victims to get their justice. Yes, he's never going to be in this world again, and it won't happen, and he won't be able to cause any more pain that he already has, but he took the cheap way out. And, yes, you can think of it, as I said, it's safer without him there, but he could have been arrested, he could have been brought to jail, and the world would have been just as safe. Well, maybe, maybe not, I suppose. I mean, the justice system can be messed up, too. But, I mean, he took the lives of 28 people. Well, 27 people, not including himself. So, I don't think... Don't think he would have been let out for a long time. And well, there's the wing dragon. Yeah, I know, I know, I lost. Whenever the wing dragon comes out, I'm doomed. The world is doomed. But yeah, I'm finishing up a lot of let's plays recently. Ah, oh, shit. But anyway, I mean, I've. Although I've somewhat completed the photix right one, I am going to complete for sure this one. There's not much applicant for this. And I don't know where I'm going when it comes to the Adventures Red. It'll finish when it finishes, all I can say. But I'm going to try to keep like one Pokemon LP up if I can. Because. I mean, that's part of me. Pokemon has always been part of me. It's a reason. It's one of the reasons I know how to read. And when I say that, I mean... It gave me the incentive to learn to read because... My friend, my friend, one of my older friends... We'll call him... Mm, I don't want to use a whole bunch of names. But we'll call him Bob. Yeah, the most generic name I know. But he just told me to... If I well, I couldn't figure out how to get through what was it? Rock Tunnel? It could have even been Mountain Moon, but Mountain Moon, even as a child, it's hard to get through. And he told me, 
Just meet the guy book. I mean, the guy book will tell you everything you know. Want to know how to do it? So I made myself learn how to read the guide book. And when you think about it, I was six at the time, and the guide book was at least maybe level age ten and up when it comes to reading material. So I was reading something advanced for even my age, even with the developmental disability that I had. And, well, uh, because of that, I learned to read. Because after that, everything, not that everything was easy, nothing became easy, but after that, some of the stuff were kind of easy to learn to read. And, I've had Pokemon, known Pokemon ever since I was six, no, maybe it's seven, seven or eight, right? And ever since I was seven or eight, Pokemon has been a big part of my life. And yes, I understand, but I shouldn't make myself out to be exactly just a PokeTuber because nowadays, single game channels are becoming co all too common, right? And because of, like, the fact is, is that if you only run a channel for one game, there's probably someone out there that may do it better. Do that same thing as you, but better. And it doesn't make you original. Not, not saying that. Yeah, 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 I know how that's gonna end. Ooh, I'm out of life points. I lose, I know. This time I, I have a better idea what to do. SOB. Please, what was I on? Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, as I said, there's people that could possibly do it better than you. Right? But, don't get me wrong, it's still good to enjoy your, your games that you love to do, or your, your anime, or manga, or comics, whatever you like, and still enjoy them. You can still present them, right, as part of your channel, or part of you, right? But, to just try to, I'm learning to mix things up when it comes to my content. In fact, I do a, as I said, I do a manga series now. I do, well, not a manga, a comic series now. I do card openings. I mean, yes, they're mainly on Pokemon now, but I'm going to bring Yu-Gi-Oh! into the mix later. So, I'm trying to open up, expand my horizons in this channel. I admit I know I'm not the best content creator, but... Because obviously I lose track of my brain a lot, and... In fact, this is my second take on this video, because I really was not talking very much at all to begin with. And most of it was, oh, I did this, oh, look at this card. I have to learn to ease it up and think of topics to talk about, like for example, when I was talking about the Sandy Hook shooting in the Paris incident. Yes, I really do sincerely fear feel what I say. But it was something that could be discussed as well. And, I mean, it's funny how I was literally able to talk non-stop in the Harvest Moon video. But yet, in this video, I was just stuck. Maybe it's because I feel like I should concentrate more on this game. In my head, maybe that's what it is. But at the same time, I gotta obviously think that I played this already. I already know what I did and didn't do, so I don't need to concentrate so much. But in my brain, it still says that. And that's just, it's stupid. But yeah, I did the right thing this time around. I used a weaker monster to take the parental tribute. And that actually got me the victory. It, it, the, I mean, the Wind Dragon of Raw, don't get me wrong, is a terrifying card. But it, I gave him the chance to summon it was the problem. I had to eliminate all his threats first. So sacrificing a 1,800 attack monster was nothing. So I still had my 2,600 attack one. So, I mean, I felt that I was, I was so proud of myself thinking of that strategy because it shows that I'm learning what to do. 
And I may not put another Yu-Gi-Oh! LP up there for a little bit, but because I'm going to think of expanding my horizons a little. Like, I'm working on The Walking Dead, and I'm doing pretty well there. I know I may not be talking much in it, but obviously the characters talk a lot on their own. And I find they're the main star of this game. Of that game. Like, I will I'll leave my comments about it. Or make my comments about the game in between their talking. But they talk so much, there's not much time in between. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Not a problem, Mokuba. I mean, yes, I know they're talking with words, but you can read the words in this game. You can read what they're saying. Regular cruel... No! Hell no! No! No, no, I'm not giving you back that god card. Oh, come on! Why did you give me the option, yes or no, if you were just gonna make me say yes? I don't understand some games and that. They give you an option only to make you choose the other. What sense does that make? Ah, uh, whatever. Not a problem. Forget your name. Who cares? You're not important. I'm on, I'm the only one who's important. Yeah, although sometimes I wonder whether my words... Like, if I overrode this episode with commentary other than this game at all. But if I, if I start talking about this game so much, I'll be stuck on that topic. Right? So I'm trying to widen the horizons a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can always play. But yeah, this is literally about the end of this series, and I cannot believe it. Yep, going back home. Now we're gonna get a pretty credit roll. But I mean, another series, and like, okay. I'm trying to think of how to say it. I mean, I know, like, I mean, I enjoyed this game, right? But every time the credits roll, I get excited knowing I've actually completed playing the game to a degree. And obviously, I know, like, with Phonics Right, for example, it isn't completely done. The main story is completely done. And, but, I just, I just get excited because. I like it, but I can move on to new projects. Well, yes and no, actually, because I do plan to stick with the Pokemon one for a little bit and the Harvest Moon and the main series for a while. Like I said, the Harvest Moon, the Pokemon, the Walking Dead, the Sims. When you think about it, I'm only, I'm only doing four generations in the Sims and we're going on number three. I, pre-recorded some, right, video footage-wise, so we're actually getting close to the end of the Sims Let's Play. And for me, that's an accomplishment, because the Sims are hard to Let's Play, as a friend of mine said to me. I'm so glad he's still supporting my Let's Play of it, though, because it's something, just like Pokemon, that means a lot to me doing it. But anyway, this is uh, Tam Yugi, and I will end this episode off. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll see you next time.